hello guys welcome to another video and in this video i will be discussing how i wholeheartedly believed that a hinge match was my soulmate yes you heard it here first i thought me matching with a guy on a dating app was going to be my fairy tale ending so One, stay two, three, let's go. let me preface this by saying your girl has never had good luck when it comes to love. I I just can't seem to get it right. But the way I look at it is on one side, I am just 21 years old, so I'm still pretty young. So I have a while before I have to, you know, settle down or whatever. But at the same time, all of my peers, or at least most of them, are in relationships or having children, getting engaged, getting married. I'm just like what's wrong with me why can't i find that but nonetheless here i am 21 single not mingling and it's not by choice but okay let's just jump right into this story time so basically i've never had good luck with love like i said um so i had one boyfriend in high school my junior year that was a complete show it I mean, me and him are kind of cordial and I were kind of cool. So, you know, we got past it. But in the moment, it was definitely crazy. But I've had two boyfriends my whole life. It's been a long journey for me. But I was like, you know what? I really want a boyfriend. Like, I just love to love people. And I want someone to love one. Is that so hard? Is that so bad? Like, am I asking for too much? I just want someone to love. So I had the great idea of downloading Hinge. Now, did I get on this app fully believing I will meet my husband? No, I didn't. I was like, there is a huge chance most of these people are on this app just to hook up. And I was very aware of that. But on the same token, I have heard of many stories of people finding their true love on these dating apps. Like they've been dating for years, people getting married after meeting someone on the dating app. I'm like, oh my God, that could be me. Like, why, why not me? You know, why not me? So downloaded Hinge. I was like, okay, if I don't meet my soulmate, I won't be too devastated. Because like, what did I expect from a dating app? But also, fingers crossed. So downloaded Hinge. I matched with a few people, you know. Um, the vibe was eh, kind of off, wasn't really feeling it, so I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, whatever. So, I was like, maybe I'm being too shallow. Like, I would see a guy's picture and I'd be like, eh, no, so I blessed. Immediately, I'm like, maybe I'm being too shallow, let me really get to know these people. So, there was one guy, and his profile was really, like, funny and, like, attractive. And I was like, oh my god, he has a sense of humor, he seems educated, like, I just, he speaks so many different languages. I was like, oh my god he seems cool and he's pretty handsome i was like oh my god <laughs> so swiped right not really thinking too much of it because also i'm not the most confident person so i was like she's not gonna like me back so i'm just like him and move on with my day then i get a match and he texted me and i was like i got a match i got a match finally someone i liked likes me back I was like this is it this is my happy ending so me and the guy talked all day on the app we texted and we were talking just about our lives and like how old we were you know the basics then he asked for my number and let me tell you why that is significant for me because in this day and age social media runs everything so i find it really unattractive when a guy my age or even older asks for my snapchat because i'm like Ugh. We are too grown for that. Like, why are you asking for my Snapchat? Ask me for my number. So when he asked me for my number, I was like, oh yeah, I know, bar in hell. What you want me to do about it? So he asked me for my number. I said, oh, here's my number. There you go. So we talk all day, every day. I'm like, I am in love. <laughs> well, maybe not in love, but I was definitely infatuated with him. I was like, oh yeah, this might be the one. Then um so we were talking and talking taking me out or whatever so then i go to his place to meet him and we were chilling we were doing fine and then something crazy hit me we were just you know chilling and 
in my head, I was like, if this doesn't work out, I'm going to be devastated. But why? I just met this guy like a week ago. Why am I going to be so devastated if this doesn't work? I don't really know him. And I think that is because I have been chasing love my whole life. So once I like finally get like a little glimpse of it or like there's hope that oh maybe this might work out I cling on to it I attach to it so I was like I was already preparing for the worst because I was like oh my god I don't know like if this doesn't work out I'm gonna be crushed so the next day I end up leaving his place and he makes a joke saying oh I don't know if we're gonna see each other again and crying so I drive home and I text him and I was like, hey, are we gonna see each other again? He was like, oh, well, yeah, like it's usually, you know, that's your, like, that's your choice if you want to. And I was like, yeah, I do, but you made, like you said, you don't know if we're gonna see each other. He said, oh, that was a joke, I was just joking. So then I was like, okay, cool. From then on, everything's going well. We're still talking, still hanging out, da da da. And then I get that dreadful message hey, I'm not really looking for a relationship right now. So, you know, I don't want to lead you on. So, you know, I just wanted to let you know. But if you still want to, like, hang out and be cool, we can. And what did my dumb self do? I said, oh, yeah, that's fine. We can still hang out and be cool knowing full well I was literally bawling my eyes out when I read that text message. But, you know, I still had hope. I was like, okay, well, he still wants to hang out with me and be cool with me, be cordial with me. So maybe there's hope that once he is ready, he'll pick me, you know, still holding out that hope. So I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, we can be cordial, whatever. I'm not tripping. So we continued talking for a while still because you know in my head because oh let's go back when he said that he was all like oh don't worry I'm not going to ghost you I just want to take things slower okay so that's what we're, we're still talking still being cool with each other still hanging out some a few times so one day I text him and didn't receive a text all day keep in mind he's not my boyfriend we're not a couple so I'm like okay cool whatever not gonna stress over it so didn't receive a text back at all that whole day i was like okay cool whatever so then i um the next day rolls he didn't text me all day the next day so at that night something happens i wanted to tell like, oh let me tell you what happened to me da, da, da. no response i was like okay second day no response interesting so then a couple days go by i haven't talked to him so i'm like this is kind of weird so one like a week later i finally text him again i'm like hey can i ask you a question finally a response he was like yeah what's up and i was like i don't want to be a burden but i really like talking to you but like is everything okay because da, da, da. he was like oh yeah everything is fine da, da, da. keep in mind i asked this man more than once if everything was okay and every time i asked he said, yes, everything's fine. You're not a burden. I like talking to you too. Okay, so in my mind, we're still good. So I text him one day. Again, no response all day. The next day, days after that, I'm like, okay. So I saw that he posted on social media. And usually I don't freak out. But I'm like, this man literally told me everything was okay. Now he's deliberately ignoring me. And he's still posting. So I'm like, did I do something? So I text him. I was like, hey, look, I feel like you're not being truthful about something. Please just let me know. He was like, sorry, I didn't mean to ghost you. The feelings just aren't there. Y'all, when I say I wanted to cut that man's head off. So I was like, okay. So we stopped talking for a while. And... That's when I started doing some soul searching because I was just very angry. I was very hurt and angry. I was like, I hate him. Why would he say that? Why would he do that? This is freaking horrible. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna ignore it. I did throw subliminal messages on my Snapchat story for a while at him. And sometimes he would slide up and laugh and be like, oh my God, why are you still talking about me? But whatever, nothing too malicious. 
but I just feel like I have the worst luck when it comes to love and it's truly frustrating like I feel like I keep getting lessons and I feel like hey universe universe come on I've learned the lesson I've learned the lesson stop teaching me lessons I might not be ready to like settle down and get married and have children right now. No, but when it comes to a genuine, meaningful relationship, I do believe I am ready for that. And I am tired of getting the runaround and getting these lessons. Like I've, I've been in school for years now. I've had enough, but I just wanted to come on here and share my thoughts about this whole situation and how just fed up I am with the whole dating culture of our current generation and how it's just ridiculous and annoying and tiring maybe I'm looking for love in all the wrong places who knows I I don't know but you know at the same time I am trying to be patient and everything will happen when it's supposed to so you know there is that but I just wanted to come on here and share this quick story about how I genuinely believed that the love of my life was going to come off of a dating app. And even saying that out loud, it sounds ridiculous. But, you know, I had hopes, high hopes. And unfortunately, those high hopes were shot down very quickly. But nonetheless, here I is, thriving, you know, mm -mm, frozen fleek, still that girl. So, you know, love will come when it's supposed to, and it'll be from the right person, so. Hey, yeah, pay that money on a Monday.